So, what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition program with us TV. Now, what we're going to cover right here, what I'm going to demonstrate to you guys, is one of the apps that we're going to create in our Android Firebase course in Udemy. Okay, so please, if you haven't checked that course, I encourage you to go check it. Now, basically what you want to learn right here is how to work with Firebase real-time database alongside the room data access layer, okay? So we're going to use the MVVM design pattern. We're going to use, use room, of course, to cache our data offline in SQLite database and our remote data, we're going to store it in Firebase real-time database. Okay, so in this class, we're going to see how we can put all those three things together and in the process, create this beautiful app. Of course, as you can see, if we click the app first and foremost, a splash screen reader, okay? Then of course it leads us to the dashboard page. This dashboard page, as you can see, contains four cards, view or add another item and then exit, okay? If you come to add, it's going to bring us, of course, to the page for adding our data or for performing our CRUD operations. Then of course, if we click this one reader, it will bring us right here to the listings page. We have two tabs, the test as well as all. Now basically, our data right here is being fetched locally, of course, from SQLite database. This is the data that is cached offline. However, if you want to refresh our data, we just come right here and then pull down. Okay, you can see, of course, it is fetching it right here from Firebase real-time database. You can see, okay. So this is it. This is what we're going to create right here. Of course, you can also search data. This is a search fragment. You just click it right here and then you are able to search and filter. And then if you click it, it's going to take us over to the details page. You can see this beautiful details page. If you want to edit, then of course you come and just click this one right here. Now, for example, suppose I want to change the galaxy. I just come, click this one right here. Then I select the galaxy for this particular scientist. I can also change the star right here. Okay. We can also change the date. So if you click, of course, it's going to show for us the date picker dialog. Sorry. You just come. Okay. It shows for us the date picker. And then, of course, you can select any date you wish. Then, of course, you can also change the name. Let me come change the name. Right here. Then all you need to do now is to click save. Okay, update successful. So if we go back and then we come over to the view all. Okay, all we now need to do is to refresh. Okay, remember this data is cached locally, so we just pull it down, and then you can see right here. Okay, the changes that we made have been have actually been applied. Now this is a very important app right here because you can use it as a template. Let's also see how to add new data. Now you can go to the page for adding new data just by clicking this add or alternatively you can move over to the dashboard page then click this card for adding data. Then of course you can just go ahead type your data right there. Then you come select your galaxy. You select your star. Then of course you also select your dates, the date of birth as well as the date of death for that particular scientist. So I'll just pick some dummy dates right here. Then also the date of death. If you click it right here, okay, then you come click OK. Then you click Add very, very fast. Okay, so insert successful. If we go right here, then all we now need to do is to just refresh our data. Okay, so you just pull down right here, then of course you can see we now have 22. So if you scroll down, you can see it right here, okay? You can see the one that you just added. Now what about if you want to delete? Well, come click the editing button, then of course click delete. It's going to delete it right here, okay? Deleting scientist, please wait. Then of course you can see successful right here, okay? If you go back, then of course all we now need to do is to pull down to refresh okay you can see we now have 21 if we scroll to the latest it's this one richer 
so yeah this is it guys this is what we're going to create of course in creating this particular app you're going to learn several concepts of course we've talked about the clean architecture which we're going to use to construct this application we're also going to learn how to search filter while highlighting you can see traitor this is a search fragment it gets shown if you click this search button filter okay we'll also learn how to work with tabs and of course our recycler view as you can see in this particular class now if you want to know how to work with images just take this course we also have another app that we've created just alongside this one in the same same course which allow us to work with images also okay so yeah this is it the concept writer is to show us how to work with the mvvm design pattern how to of course save data to a fabulous real-time database perform all the crowd operations such data okay and also how to cache our data offline using room this one of course the purpose for creating this one is for you guys to use it as a template okay so yeah that is it this is what we're going to cover take the course so that you can learn how to create a full app